yeah, the uwi, where mm-hmm. that emotion came from. Please yeah. continue, Lucy. So the emotion came from my mother. My mm-hmm. mother is a typical cute woman, construction and all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know when you're romantically scammed, the person who keeps reminding you, oh, we should have done this, you could have done that, you could have done this. Yeah. So I just decided, ah, let me make this a song. Mm-hmm. I, I move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alafu invited her over to South Africa. Mm-hmm. made her video vixen yeah and then she's introducing the song mm-hmm. <laughs> so it, w- it was actually out of love and a lot of fun yes. mm-hmm. but the the message behind it is um you know what sometimes you sit on stuff and it starts depressing you and this is from a therapeutic standpoint mm-hmm. i'm a therapist like how did i not see all these red flags mm-hmm. you know it was yes. so embarrassing my end to even who do i share this with? give us mm-hmm. a bit of context to this yeah. story Wale hula yeah. nini. <laughs> <laughs> by the way my mom was telling me you know the way you're saying it in cuke it's yeah. not really interpretation is not what it means but mm-hmm. For me, I meant Kukulu and Nairobi ni Kuporo Mali. So it's yeah. more like a romantic scam. Mm-hmm. So that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Something you know, that happened to you it or d- to It her? did happen to me, me. For to Wambia fa- used to. Ah, you are sorry, ni refu. Give us the Kadogo too. Kadogo too, like mm-hmm. unajipata five and a half years. Gola was yonu anapenda malavidavi. You mm-hmm. you believe in someone's dream and vision. You're mm-hmm. the one perhaps who's financially muscled. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just buy into the whole thing and you support someone for five and a half years to realize that mm-hmm. you are like four, five who are doing the same thing, munamnunulia manyumba, magari, you know. Asante sana. Yeah, so, so that's... Pesa ya development, mukasa hey, ya mwetel. Eh, nyumu nalipa ata campaign. <laughs> eh, hey, it was a full-blown business. <laughs> eh, four or five? Yeah, we were four of us. I'm sorry, if he doesn't show up on Forbes list, I need an explanation. Who you? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, it was... It was <laughs> Am I was just real. chopping, not, not, <laughs> not building now that you're scamming people? He was ah, just he was, chopping no, it, yeah? No, he was building, he was ah, building, he was building, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayako poa. Na pesa yako. <laughs> you see what you'd have done with that money. Like you know what you know, unajua the lesson I learned from it and not trying to sound at religious or must be spiritual is this person was very consistent. Mm-hmm. Unajua that is that is the whole irony about it. Consistent mm-hmm. how? Like I I learned great lessons through this thing. You know, mm-hmm. how to you know this comes as people think ni tum tu 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 natembea tembea. Mm-hmm. This person was a full blown business person like he's made me a better business woman somehow. Mm-hmm. Very consistent. Oh, you going to classes? Me imagine I mean I am bianga even on the move on with me ni lipa class. <laughs> <laughs> hey, master class. Master class. I'm but, telling but, you. But hey. um I'm most excited about uh who you are coming as a person as, and as an artist mm. uh drawing from your own experiences but i'd like to know um how, how has music been financially because mm. not so many people to make quote kengelea topic flani up iv where kenyan artists when it comes to revenue collection mm. uh, most of the bodies that have been given or societies that have been given chance to uh collect monies on behalf of artists mm. yes so just mm. talk to us a little bit about uh how you make sure that you monetize your your uh music mm. For me, I uh, I would like to encourage any artist out there like to trust business people, business mm-hmm. bodies. And for me, I've handed that to people who I truly trust. And I have been schooled by great people here, like Akina Klemo, Calif Records. That was my first producer. Mm-hmm. Um, Napia, I do a bit of research here and there. So, Kukulua, I'm not the right person, really, because Sijanza who collect Vizuri Sana Kenya. Mm-hmm. But I would say that I've put, um, like, I've, I've, I have a structure that it seems to be functional to me. Mm-hmm. Alafu saizi tumetoka ile, ukiwa nuna kuluwa sana Kenya, I mean saizi, there are other bodies, international bodies, True. Mm-hmm. Um, and things are really getting better. Lakini usikai hapo miserable at depending on what wana shinda kukulia, uh, endo uko inje, branch out. You no, know, there are so out. many talents in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Endo uko inje, enda TZ, enda SA, if you can, mm-hmm. that is, yeah. Ah. Now everybody's international. I actually don't go for that at a local artist in Kenya. Everybody mm-hmm. now has become international. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 